A new year means a new transfer window as clubs up and down the country scour the market for a quick fix. Whether it's those chasing the title, a place in Europe, or hoping to cling to their top flight status, everyone will have the checkbooks out over the next month. But there will be some new names for football fans to get used to over the next 12 months as clubs look to their youth teams for the stars of the future. Win £25,000 for free with FOOTIE 5 Click here to play. Whether you are Manchester City or Brighton, developing your own talent can prove cost-effective and popular with fans. And so with that in mind, we pick out some youngsters you might be hearing more about in 2019. Aaron Connolly, Brighton, 18, excitement is growing at Brighton about teenage striker Aaron Connolly. The 18-year-old Irish kid scores for fun and never lets defenders switch off, constantly stretching them with run after run in behind. His movement, pace and work rate also creates spaces for his teammates by pushing wary opponents back. Connolly is scoring at a rate of over a goal a game for the Seagulls in Premier League 2, he was November's Player of the Month and also nominated in August and September, and the EFL Trophy, where a hat-trick at MK Dons really brought him to wider attention. He was handed his senior debut as a last-minute sub against Southampton in the EFL Cup. Connolly is now ready to take the next step in his development and start playing regularly for points in meaningful games against players whose livelihoods are at stake. Plenty of clubs are queuing up to offer him the chance on loan. While there has even been talk that the two Manchester clubs in Red Bull Leipzig want him permanently. Arvin Apia, Nottingham Forest, 17, in an academy that has a number of promising hopefuls, Arvin Apia is Nottingham Forest's latest standout. The rapid exciting England under-18 winger trains with Forrest's first team every day and is expected to be rewarded for his progress with a first start next year. Forrest fans got a glimpse of the next gem off their production line when he made his debut as a sub against Burton in a Carabao Cup tie in October and marked the occasion by scoring. Apia is comfortable on either flank or even used further forward and continued to shine for Forrest's under-23s while he awaits more first-team involvement. Such is his promise there is already talk of Apia having a £6 million price tag on his head. Such as his promise Forrest quickly knocked down suggestions that Apia, tied down until 2020, will be allowed to go anywhere, anytime soon. Curtis Jones, Liverpool, 17, for a Liverpool youngster, being talked by boss Jurgen Klopp and legend Steven Gerrard is a sure sign you are on the right track. That is the case for Curtis Jones who is considered by some to be the most highly rated young player at the club.
Jones, who doesn't turn 18 until January, is a prospect who is comfortable anywhere across midfield, chips in with goal and plays with flair. His vision and eye for a pass is also impressive. Jones is already part of Klopp's first team setup while getting his game time with the under 23s and under 19s UEFA Youth League side. He made the bench for the Good Ice and Park Merseyside Derby last season and Chelsea Carabao Cup tie this term after also impressing on the club's pre season tour. That first team debut is surely just around the corner for Jones who joined the club at under-9 level. Also keep an eye out for Portuguese youngster Rafael Camacho who has made the bench twice this season against Burnley and Manchester United. Jaden Bogle, Derby, 18. Right back Jaden Bogle has made his derby breakthrough this season and is expected to enhance his reputation further in 2019. He is just 18 but already possesses one big quality that would please any manager and certainly has Frank Lampard, his reliability. On top of that Vogel is athletic, strong, technically good and a capable passer, attributes that make him an ideal modern-day full-back and have helped him emerge as Derby's first-choice right-back. As with any teenager getting regular game time at first-team level, there has been interest in Vogel too. For now it is little for Derby to worry about, but it might be if they fail to secure promotion. Another Derby team causing excitement is Irish winger attacking midfielder Jason Knight. Kelland Watts, Newcastle, 19. One of the standout players for Newcastle's second string has been the versatile Kelland Watts. Watts was originally an attacker playing as a striker or in the 0.10 role, but the club believe his future lies further back. The 19-year-old once considered himself a box-to-box -box midfielder but has been playing as a centre-back this year and has taken to his latest move of position well. Left-footed and standing at a towering 6 feet 4 inches, Watts is well thought of at St James Park and has especially impressed with his attitude and willingness to learn. He is one of the youngsters who was called up for first-team training this season, has featured four times for Newcastle in the Football League trophy this year, represented England at under-19 level, and captained his club's reserve team. Ian Carlo Pavida, Manchester City, 18. Whether they stay at the Etihad like Phil Foden or move on like Jadon Sancho, players are starting to emerge from Manchester City's impressive academy. Next year could be a big one for 18-year-old Giancarlo Pavita, a two-footed, technically gifted forward. Pavita who has played from England from under-16 level through to under-19s, is small but tough and productive when it comes to goals and assists which helps him catch the eye. A childhood friend of Sancho and Arsenal's Rice Nelson, Ravida could well find that his first chances come away from the editing.
clubs in Germany, where Sancho and Nelson are currently playing, and Holland are keen on Pavida. City have high hopes for central midfielder Felix Mecca, the younger brother of forward Lucas who is on loan at Preston from the edited outfit. Germany-born Mecca, 18, has made the City bench against Hoffenheim and Leicester recently, after impressing for their youth sides this season. Also keep an eye out for midfielder Claudio Gomez, 18, who was given a brief taste of action as a late Community Shield sub and is so highly rated by City they handed him the biggest contract they have ever given to a youngster. Mason Greenwood, Manchester United, 17, the buzz around Old Trafford starlet Mason Greenwood is huge and rightly so. Discuss the best youngsters in the country, the ones bubbling just under the surface, with those in the know, and forward Greenwood's name is one of the first that will be mentioned. Some seasoned youth football watchers believe he could even be a senior England international within a couple of years. Two-footed, quick, versatile, deadly in the box and clever, and creative in deeper attacking roles, Greenwood has the lot, scores all types of goals and plays with a maturity beyond his 17 years. His Youth Cup hat trick against Chelsea last month showed Greenwood at his very best. He was part of United's squad for their pre-season tour and travelled with the first team for their Champions League trip to Valencia. A competitive debut will follow in 2019, and perhaps very quickly now Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is in caretaker charge. Matty Daly, Huddersfield, 17, survival for the first team is David Wagner's top priority, but he also has a close eye on the prospects coming from the club's youth setup. One name in Wagner's sights is England midfielder Matty Daly, 17 Daly's breakthrough could come next year, after catching Wagner's attention in pre-season. Daly joined the Terriers from Everton at under-15 level, has moved quickly up to their under-23s, and now trains regularly with the first team. He is comfortable as a central midfielder or in the no.10 role, and his value and potential has been underlined by the size of the three-year deal he signed in July and also his continuing progress with England. He has represented his country at under-17 level and now stepped up to the under-18s. Under-19 captain and playmaker Scott High, 17, is another highly thought of talent coming through Huddersfield's academy. They have also moved to tie him down quickly too, securing his future until 2020 in November. Morgan Rogers, West Brom, 16. West Brom are no strangers to producing attackers from their academy and Morgan Rogers is the latest causing a bit of a stir. The 16-year-old has been at West Brom since he was 7 and made swift and impressive progress through the Baggies ranks.
He made the bench in the Carabao Cup this season just a few days after collecting his GCSE result and is being tipped for big things by those on the youth football circuit. The England under-17 international was described simply by one as a goal scorer, a proper player. Rodgers is already over six feet, quick and capable of playing anywhere across the front line and burying chances with either foot. Proof of that came in September when he fired England's under-17s to the Serenka Cup, finishing the tournament his top scorer and boosting his tally with a hat-trick against Belgium. Troy Parrott, Tottenham, 16. Finding adequate striking support for Harry Kane has been tricky for Tottenham in the last few seasons. Could the answer eventually come from within and be provided by Irish youngster, Troy Parrott? Parrott is just 16, but already causing a stir and earned loose and early comparisons with King. Partly for his excellent finishing ability, Parrott has 12 in 18 games this season. But it is his all-round game that has led some to see similarities with the England captain. Parrott has caught the eye with his technical ability, movement, and awareness of his teammates. He is not lightning quick, but still a willing and strong runner and is more than capable of holding his own when things get physical. Defenders who think they can bully him quickly find out they are up against someone more than ready to give as good as he gets, as his two red cards this season suggest. Parrott trains regularly with the first team and has been tipped to make his debut by next season, while former Ireland boss Martin O'Neill revealed he was on their radar earlier this campaign.